All right, Master Shredder, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. What's good, Master Shredder? Trade different, gain different. That's good money. Today, we're going to do, um, we're going to compare pull-ups to chin-ups. Which one is better? And what's the difference? Which one do y'all think is better? We see a lot of people do the, um, the pull-ups. So, that's like... The overhand grip. Overhand grip. Alright, so pull ups. With those, it's a lot more emphasis on my deep lats. Lats. See there, like lower, lower lats. The top of my arm, the top of my forearms. And they're a bit, I would say, versus the chin ups, they're a bit harder. Not too much, but just a little bit. Just because of the positioning, like it's more control of your body, but the way that you you need more control of your body, that the, the way your hands is positioned. So your core and everything has to be activated just a little bit more when you're doing those. Versus the chin ups now. Now, just from like you see the way I position my hand before I even touch the bar, I'm getting a lot more of my inner bicep in the forearm and in the wrist. All right. And as well as my lats, my upper lats. You see the muscles moving in a different way. When he's doing a uh, underhand grip compared to the overhand grip. It's not like I'm just I'm not hitting my lower lats and my biceps and forearms. I'm just hitting different parts of them now. Like you see how versus overhand, it's more it's a little bit more emphasis on the on the upper back. Just a little bit more. Now people like to say those are easier but it is is it really about is it easier uh, or harder explain that to them is it, you know? well if you don't do them then they're gonna be harder yeah. <laughs> if you emphasize more on yeah. doing the overhand grip yeah. the underhand grip will get yeah. harder yeah exactly if you if you only do the overhand grip then of course the overhand grip your muscles are gonna get used to it and you know it's gonna be a lot easier versus then when you go to the underhand grip it's gonna be harder it's not really about um, yeah which one is better both of them you should do both of them okay not enough people do both of them because right. of that that myth that all right this one is 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 um, it's harder because you and you'll get yeah. more gains if it's harder yeah you'll get that's more people, gains that's what people harder. will say you get more yeah. gains but you're saying more. that yeah. The underhand grip is Yeah, I'm saying the underhand grip is, is just as good. Just as good. It's just as good. For the games? For the games, yeah. I, like okay. it depends on what you're trying to get to, because if you wanna like I said, if you wanna widen your back, of course you gotta go like a little wider on the grip too. So go wider there the wide. Okay. Now, what about why I like that with the underhand grip? Why I like that with the underhand grip? What's the difference with that? Oh, that, that, that doesn't feel like... <laughs> that don't feel too... You're not comfortable with that? Too, yeah, I don't... For me, personally, I don't feel too comfortable on the elbows. Like, it, it's like... It's kind of like going this way and... Okay, but... Yeah, okay. Underhand grip is kind of... It's like kind of more like an inner thing. 
close so to under hand thing. grip you don't recommend going no, wide I don't really recommend going like crazy like wide on those crazy wide yeah keep your shoulder width at least yeah. or no wider than shoulder yeah I would say no wider than the shoulder width no because shoulder. the way that you're like forearms so and give elbows. him his wide show him as wide as wide as you think they should go show him the shoulder width before you was close I'll say like right here is as wide as I would go Right okay. Shoulder width? Yeah, like shoulder width. Okay. So close grip and shoulder yeah. width. Now what about even closer? Is that uh doable too? There yeah, we go. This is good. You see me do these in a couple of videos. Yeah. So you got maybe so you would recommend at least three different grips yeah. on the underhand. Yeah, on the underhand. Three, three, um, three grips. What about three overhand? Grips? Yeah, the same type of thing. Same, same. Yeah, same type of thing. Why? Okay, now let me ask you something. Um, yeah. What's the difference in the activation from the close hand, uh, put a close hand grip like this and the uh, underhand like this? Is there any difference? The close any grip, difference. show me what I'm, I just showed you. Show the close grip, like, close like that. Grip, close grip hand. pull ups and the underhand. And underhand close, close grip? Close um, grip. Like, like, all right, so when I'm pulling like this, I'm hitting a lot, like I said, like, like this part of my forearm, like the inner part. Inner part. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you yeah, go. the inner part of my forearm, inner part, top, or the top of my bicep. Right, everything in, everything in. And then in my back, I'm hitting like pulling more so in here from this part of my back. Okay. And now. Self-explanatory right there. As soon as you put it right there, then you would be... Yeah, now you see I'm hitting like the top of my forearms and now a lot of the, 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 the top of my wrist as well too. That part. Getting a little bit of triceps as well. This part right there too. Yeah, some triceps as well. Yeah. And then on my back, still getting the lats but more so even deeper when I go overhand close grip okay. on the lats but it's all gangster train different gain different okay so that's, you, that's 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 how you so the pull up versus chin ups they both good yeah you're they both good I both recommend both rec rec recommend both yeah. no one is better do yeah. both do both to yeah. get them gains if you really want to get the gains do both okay yeah Stop just doing these. Do these too. Right. See what, you, you see? You see how the, uh, the way his body, how everything moves different. Everything different. moves different from the wrist. The wrist controls a lot. It's kinetic. It's a kinetic chain. Mm -hmm. Wrist is a part of that. All right. Talk to him. All right. Yeah. So, y'all need more game for the gains. Meal plans. You eating, you, you respond, your body responds a lot better when you eat better. Believe me, you can't think you're gonna beat a bad diet or bad eating. McDonald's ain't gonna get you no gains. Yeah, it's man. not gonna get you them gains. It's not gonna get you the back. You can get strong you can eating get strong. that. You get strong, but yeah. if you want that, that if look. If you want the look, yeah. if you want to take your shirt off in the beach. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then, like, yeah. hit me up. One chance in a million at gmail.com. And if you eat right and you don't got the right workout workouts, then you need the workouts. I got those too. Hit me up, one chance in a million at gmail.com. That's for sale. It's all for sale. Um consultations if you wanna know if you're doing the right thing or what you need to do, hit me up. 
one chance in a million at gmail.com for the merchandise. Same thing too. Train different, gain different. That's the wave. That's the drip. IllionaireSociety.com if you want some other waves and drips too that I'll be wearing in my videos. You want to support the movement? Dollar sign M Shredder out on Cash App. PayPal, one chance in a million at gmail.com. Sell the same thing. Subscribe, like, and share to That's Good Money. And let's keep it going. We got some more for y'all. All right, good looking out, Shredder. More to come, man. My man Shredder.